Um, let's talk. Let's get into uh, the pearly thing now. Yes. We've, we've we've done enough of the top well, of the go, show. Go. Now let me hear you say, Whoa. Let's get into the just pearly things. <laughs> <laughs> I love You're pearl. Giddy. I am. I, I you know. <sighs> I have mixed feelings on Pearl after everything that's gone down. Really? Mm-hmm. In the sense that her existence is so sad. Mm-hmm. There's so much self-loathing there. She is, and the she is inner pitiable. The interplay of just like self-loathing and the clear and present and constant rejection she's getting by the men around who have no interest in her. And like she rates herself a five. Mm-hmm. She can't be happy. No. How can you be happy, Pearl? <sighs> and- um. <laughs> I know it's hard to answer. Well, I I do know what makes her happy. It's singing. It's singing that makes her happy. <laughs> now, what we did is, how did we find these songs? Can we get a background on this? So initially, someone posted uh, a Drake song on the subreddit that she sung and said it was on her LinkedIn, and so we took a look and we found that there were some others. Yeah. <laughs> so what we did is we downloaded them all quickly, because I had a feeling she was going to race it when she found out this was public. And then we ran it through the, the uh, AI to remove the background music, so this is all good, baby. Because mm-hmm. you guys are awesome, thank you for your patience as I get to all your song requests. Oh shit, oh, she was taking requests. Lots of requests. Here we go. Um, you should call me on my work phone. Yes. <laughs> All day when you need a printer. Call printer. Call me on my work phone. <laughs> All day when you need a printer. Printer? Yeah, these songs are all tailored to whatever business she was working in at the time. Yeah. She's writing this for businesses? Whatever to, business she was in at the time. Yeah, all the songs are her own lyrics, like a spin on. Yeah, yeah. No, they're I all, know it's your own all, lyrics. They're all printer related. They're all yeah. Pearl originals. She's got one in there called Copiers Ain't Easy. So. Uh. Okay, how is she not a character from The Office? <laughs> <laughs> She's making songs about printers and papers. We found our Angela. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know when that work phone rings. Yes. That you need to print things. That you need to print things. Ever since you bought the can and you <laughs> got paper jams left and right now. She goes, I've been in the professional workspace and I've never been looked over before. <laughs> I have inc- I have a lifetime experience. I have never had trouble getting the same pay as men. Paid too much and you still <laughs> left down. Yeah. I have a lot of experience in corporate America. This mm-hmm. is the experience. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, I made uh, parody songs on LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> when you come to Kaga, you Kaga start jamming less and printing more. Easy billing gets you on the dance floor. Get rid of that rap you've never seen before. Um, you should call me on my work phone. Yo, that was fire! Wow. And I do find it interesting uh, that she was bringing up Drake a few times about him being like the ultimate male with bo- high body count that women want. Yeah. yeah. I think she has a thing for Drake. Yeah. Many Drake, women do. Drake, Drake, Drake. <laughs> do they really? Drake is so goofy. Like, genuinely. What do you mean? He's like the biggest artist. I in the know world. that. Drake's goofy. But, like, in terms of like hot dudes who people want to fuck. He, I think he's goofy. No, I think, think a lot that. of people think he's goofy, but yeah, I mean, right? Yeah. Back me up, y'all. Like, it's a weird split. People people thirst over Drake. Big time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I don't you? know. Yeah. This this guy? This that guy? guy? That guy. This one here. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. Call me on my work phone. He's the co- he's the corniest man alive. I like his music. I like some his music is good. You need a printer. 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 <laughs> Call me when you need a printer. Call me on my work phone. All day when you need, need a printer. printer. <laughs> that so that's just one. We have more. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. We got Old a whole album. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, now let me hear you say, Wayo. Wayo. Boom, boom, boom. Every yeah, we had this epiphany on Friday that she is the boom, boom, wayo girl. Ten years later. 
Fantastic. Okay, so here's Old Town Road, and there was a phone number at the end for the business, which we cut out. But, so businesses were paying her for this? That doesn't make any sense to me. So, I guess, um, I'm reading people requested uh, ringtones for their companies during COVID. <laughs> oh. oh my God. People put this as their voice No, message? I don't think so. No. Nah. But she offered it. For she was sure. getting trolled, right? Like, there's zero shot anybody used that. <laughs> Agree. I'm so sorry. She oh. goes, uh, let's see, decided to have some fun on this fine Sunday. If you got this voicemail, what would you do? So maybe she's trying to solicit her talents. So here it is, Old Time Road by Pearl. Yeah, my name I love that she sings with the two digit Hanukkah. fingers up. I'll help you save till I can no more. Yeah. My name is Pearl from Kanika. I'll help you save till I can no more. We got the printers in the back. Scanner. Yo, she I love that she's the on the printer in stuff. The back. No. This one kind of hits. This one, this one so good. she's a printer salesperson. <laughs> yeah. And so she worked her way to the top, man. The men couldn't keep up with her. I made 25 cents more per hour than my male counterpart. Also, isn't this kind of demonic to be singing a uh, Lil Nas X song? Yes. Yeah. Also, he's black. I don't know if she got that memo. Oh, no. So yeah. true. Yeah. Black and gay. Yeah. It's a problem. Although this explains everything in the sense that I don't think she's like socially, her social awareness is something. Yeah, I mean, she's sheltered, raised by nannies, went to private Catholic school. Yeah, I mean, those people generally are pretty weird. Do you think if her friends saw this, it would ruin her life? Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't matter what. It could come out that she's had sex with 100 dudes. This would damage her more. This is going to damage her more. <laughs> They're attached. You can't even fax. I, I want to buy a printer. You stay. No more need to read. No more need Just me with me. And you will see. When you have 10 kids, this is what happens to the kids, man. <laughs> right. Because they have like 10 kids. This is what happens. You know, yeah. you don't give them any attention. You don't make them feel special. And then they end up covering Old Town Road on LinkedIn to sell printers. <laughs> yeah. I mean... <laughs> They don't have as many kids. This is so crazy, dude. I can't believe it. Not only do software solutions that. Someone says, this is fair. This feels kind of mean, somebody said. In a sense, I get that. But also, we have to consider the fact that she's a horrible person. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, right? So we can proceed. Definitely worth the considering. We're good to proceed, I feel. In consideration of everything she said and who she is. I believe that we have every right to. If you say slavery is embellished, we can make fun of your karaoke. You're singing. Your Drake that's worse. Cover. That's that's a fair right. trade, yeah. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. That's worse. What she said. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. That's worse. Yeah. Yes. That feels a little mean to me. Saying slavery was embellished. That does feel a little mean. It does feel a little very mean. mean. But I, I do. Th I think it's worth unpacking that, though. You know. <laughs> yeah. She's being transphobic on Twitter right now too. If that helps oh, great. clear so, your conscience. That's a little mean. Yeah. Let's watch that Drake cover. <laughs> She's freaking out right now, though. Their hands not only do ECM solutions, they do. That rendition of how Kanika Minolta can help you save money was when brought to you by talking, yours scary. truly, Pearl Davis. Okay, so she's really trying to find something that works for her professionally, and I think yeah, this name. kind of explains how she fell into this grift. She really trying to find her way, trying to find to make a living in a unorthodox way, right? She's trying to... Mm. I don't understand why. Why doesn't she just get married and stay home, pump out kids, let a good man bring home the bread? You know what I'm saying? A hundred percent. That is pretty odd. She already has money. She wants attention. And this looks like her first shot at it. And then we got into the grift. Yeah. Yeah, my name is Pearl from Kanika. I'll help you <laughs> save till I can no more. My name is Pearl from Kanika. Uh, my name is Pearl. Till I can no more. We got the printers in the back. Scanners are attached. You can't even fax. I can help you stay. No more meter reads. No more hidden fees. Just me with me, and you will see. This is kind of gorgeous. Not only do 
software solutions that do <laughs> their hands not all we do ECM solutions that do that rendition of how <laughs> can help you save money. Money. <laughs> that was that fire. Yo, sell me a printer. Sign me up. Oof. No homo. I want the printer, I want the scanner, and I want the software solutions. Here's another one. Truth Hurts by Lizzo. Okay, I'm noticing a trend here. These are all black artists. Very true, very true. Drake, Lil Nas, and now Lizzo. She hates Lizzo. But she's covering Lizzo's song. Interesting. A uh, little Nas. Right, wait, yeah, we saw a she tweet. Had, not, not a tweet, she has like 30 videos about Lizzo on her uh, TikTok and on her YouTube. Fan behavior. But then she, she's a fan of yeah. Lizzo. Huh. Here, let's, let's open this. Uh, this is hot off the press from Pearl's Twitter. I am transgender and transphobic at the same time. Daddy issues, I guess. Hold on, what did you just say? Because that's not impossible. Did, I mean, look at, there's, yeah, look at uh, uh, Blair White. Right. Ole. I don't get uh, the joke. I, I don't know, I, but she's, I don't know what this is about. She's going on this whole thing now that she's um, transitioning, and her new pronouns are Her Majesty or Your Majesty. Awesome! Never heard that joke. Epic. Before. Super original. She did the one joke, dude. She did the one joke. My pronouns are are. Check out this pronoun joke I just thought of. <laughs> My pronoun is big dick. Thank you. Uh, the reason people like Pearly Things and I are against feminism, oh, I gotta look into her, is because we see that it has ruined society. Okay. Oh. Oh, you oh, saw that? that actually is a decent point. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> There's a growing number <laughs> of women who that. see it. My new YouTube series will cover the arguments in detail starting tomorrow. It's time to end this failed experiment. Okay, Rachel. Okay, hmm. Yeah. Her, her name is Rach for Patriarchy. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what do we got here? We got the Orthodox Cross, uh, Patriarchy, what else? Rage for Patriarchy, that's awesome. Cool. Yeah, she's crushing it. Uh, three, 800 views on this one. Rachel calls for an end to abortion. Thank you, Rachel, for finally saying that. We love you, Rach. All right, so here is Lizzo. Kanika's great using R1 ring. We just took a DNA test, turns out we're 100% the best Even when we're going crazy, cause we do see problems, that's the human in us Bling bling, then we solve them, that's the salesman in us Could've had one ray, not come Hold on, she loves Lizzo She is, she loves the song I said she got And the, behavior um, Find out a tweet she did about Lizzo, I wanna compare that it helps you with your billing Just a little, billing's too complex and it's a holding you back, and that's the sound of you calling me back. Yo. Kanika's great using R1 rate. Click rates, man, why they gotta variate. No hidden fees sticking to one rate. No meter reads sticking to one rate. Buy out of your current contract. New copiers with no fees <laughs> attached. Truth hurts, Kanika's got your back. Bum bum, but at a dun dun day. Uh, you know, God damn. You know, I gotta say, if I called a business and this was their answering machine, I would be intrigued. <laughs> Why do you think it's effective? Yeah, I would be intrigued. Uh, everybody was suggesting alternate uh, pronouns for her in the chat, and this one really got me. Baron suggested her pronouns are copy slash her. Copier. <laughs> Pretty good. I, that is good. <laughs> Pretty good. Printer scanner. <laughs> Software solutions. <laughs> My pronoun is software solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, here she's tweeting at Lizzo. I would actually have a very real conversation on why what you promote does more harm than good. I used to love her music. Okay, fallen fan. Actually, until I realized the words I was singing, the hell? Until I realized that I left that video on LinkedIn. <laughs> but that's what that is. But this is June 1st, though. No, I know, but she knows that she put that up somewhere for sure. Right. She has to acknowledge it. That's very interesting that she's adding Lizzo. I mean, I'm surprised Lizzo didn't uh, respond. Yeah, weird. Lizzo, let me help you get healthy. I've struggled with weight too. Let's fix the problem. Well, this is actually, she really just wants to be her this friend. This is fan behavior. Yeah. For sure.
This is why everyone bullies Lizzo. Like, got... The issue is like we have open misandry in a song. That's how she's starting. And she's going to play victim and say that, oh, I'm the victim. They're coming at me for just existing. Why? When she's why is putting she deep out fried? fat pictures on the... They do this, I've noticed. Her and some other people, they just crank the contrast all the way up. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they do what? it. What? That looks crazy. Like what? Hold on, let me start this video over with the Lizzo song Hi, playing. Cause Gray using R1 ring. It, the issue is like we have open <coughs> misandry in a song. That's how she started. And she's gonna play victim and say that oh, so I'm the victim, they're coming at me for just existing. Bling, bling, when she's putting out fat pictures on the internet. Nobody comes at Jennifer Hudson who's bigger for just existing. Nobody came at Adele for just existing. There are tons of artists. Kelly Clark coming a little bit. But nobody really comes at her like they come at Lizzo for just existing. We yeah. This is awesome. Instead of their no, yeah. no homo. Dude, fuck Pearl's great. She has been like such a great <laughs> source of content. <laughs> yeah, if you just search, wall cow. if you search for um, oh these are all Lizzo videos. The hell, Lizzo hates men. Okay, I'll buy it. Let's talk about how Lizzo. Oh, there's music. Shit. Just turns out, I 100% hate men. Mm -hmm. Look at this shit. Leave the whales with Pearl. 140,000 views. Hey. Oh, this Before is a whole I ass. Start, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. That way you're going to be notified of my daily videos. Well ay, ay, ay. Ugh, nightmare right there. Top comment. I approached two heavyset ladies at the bar after hearing them talk about, are you ladies from Scotland? And one of them... Uh, replied, it's whales, you jerk. So I said, sorry about that. Are you, are you whales from Scotland? Fucking owned, owned, Jesus. owned. Didn't happen. Also, That's the, owned. That is the thing that has happened the least. <laughs> That's history. never happened in your life. Mm -hmm. I've watched quite a few of these videos now, and it's quite shocking how consistently women refuse to accept responsibility and make outrageous excuses for poor decisions. God help us. So brave. So brave. There's more. I mean, each one spawns a new conversation. So that's Lizzo. Um, up next, we've got uh, Copiers Ain't Easy. Now, I don't know if this was, I, I assume it, it was an existing song. I, I couldn't recognize what it was, but um, let's just call it Copiers uh, Ain't Easy. This is, what she's was... still going on about trans stuff. I went to college and I did well. I played three different sports. I did mock trials. I graduated with two different degrees, but I still had a trans person down the hall for me in my dorm. Huh? I don't recommend we send young women to college. It's an indoctrination camp. What? That's an outrageous tweet. Wait, wait, wait. What? It, it's almost like she's telling us that she's grifting. <laughs> you guys know Bobby Boucher's mom and water boy? How she said, the devil? Everything's the devil? That's the vibes I'm getting from her. College is the devil. Can you help me unpack this? She says, I went to college. I did great. I did great, but I still had a trans person down the hall for me in the dorm. All of it isn't worth it. I still had a And then I had a hard time. The rest that's of the, the sentiment. What is the but doing? What, what's the ex- It's like, I did so well in school, but I shouldn't have gone because there was a trans person down the hall. Yes. And they, it's contagious. They, you might, if you send your kid to college, they might catch the trans. But that's the, there's no relation between the first part. So, right. Because the trans person would well, be down the saying, hall she's regardless. Just, she's getting ahead of the hypocrisy accusations of telling people, oh, you shouldn't send your kids to college. They're indoctrination camps. And people would rightfully be like, you're, you went to college. You're seeing all that in this? Yeah. No I shot speak, she believes any of I this. I speak right-wing grifter. I, I'm fluent. Yeah. She says, I went to college. I did well. I played sports. I got degrees. But yeah, despite see, see, my mentions success, the sports thing, I think she's lying about the sports. By the way, uh, maybe I don't. Who know. Who cares? I mean, she probably was in sports. I, I was she <laughs> good? She, she said, despite all my successes in the school, I still had a trans person down the hall for me in the dorm. I don't recommend we send young women to college. It's an, okay. So she's saying, just having a trans person down the hall in a dorm, which are quite large. Mm -hmm. You know, in my dorm, there was quite a lot. There was like five floors and a, quite a lot of people on each floor. Yeah. So this person wasn't even close to her. Yeah, it's like it's like typhoid or like some other super contagious disease. 
so she had this fantastic experience at school. I did great. I played sports. I did mock trials. I did two degrees. But I cannot, I cannot recommend other women. No, I ban all other women from getting this experience I had because there's a chance they might meet a trans person. Very interesting and take. And they might turn trans like I didn't. Ah, that took me a while to figure that one out. I had to unravel that. Copiers ain't easy. Let's see. <laughs> Copiers ain't easy to love and they're harder to buy. Oh my gosh. Sales reps rather give you the cheap than sell you the best. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Low toner, paper jams, and low resolution. Each day begins a new issue. Mm. If you don't understand it and it don't break soon, you'll probably just throw it away. Cheers, my dude. Well. Please, Jeff, don't let your company grow up to buy zero. Love ya. Mm. <laughs> they like smile at the end of the line. Or slow service. Let them buy kind of goods with one rain and sun. No homo. Please, Jeff, don't let the girl knows how to perform. Grow up to buy Xerox. She should make like a Christmas album about all of her printing and Xerox songs. Yes. Printing, printing, scanners, and software solutions with Pearl. Happy Merry Christmas. You said she played volleyball, right? <laughs> volleyball and yeah. basketball. They'll always mm. break and they'll never work. Call me and you'll get a customer you love. Wow. Call me a copier you love. Boom, boom, boom. Now let me hear you say, Wayo. Wayo. Oh, yeah. So this is the girl who kind of, I think, inspired her ultimately. And she looks just like her, man. Oh, uh, we, we shouldn't uh, play. Oh, it gets claimed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We removed the audio and it still gets claimed. Yeah. Because she, she hits it too hard, the boom, boom, booms. Now let me hear you say, Wayo. How do they claim that? As it gets progressive, you can still hear the original uh, Wayo's. Mm. So, um, so there it is, um, Pearl Davis, also known as Sammy Davis Pearly. <laughs> Sammy Davis Pearly. Also known as Davis Jefferson Pearl. Thank you. Davis Jefferson being the uh, president of the Confederacy. Thank you. Right? Did I say his name right? I think it's Jefferson Davis. Yeah, Jefferson Davis. Yeah, I, yeah. Je Jefferson that was Davis. It. That was Pearl. Good. That was a good one. Thank you. Well done. I thought it was not bad. I mean, no, I actually thought it was pretty good. Yeah, Pearl Jefferson. <laughs> Better Davis. than the Sammy Davis. Per yeah, per not Pearl, the... Pearl Jefferson Davis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Rat Pack. And the Rat Pack. Sammy Davis Jr. You don't like that? I'm confused on that one. Well, it's just because Davis is in there, but it's like Sammy, Sammy yeah, David no. Davis. No, his name is Davis. That's great. Sammy Davis, Pearly <laughs> Davis Jr. <laughs> I'm, well, so, I'm sorry, that's good. They sing too, they both sing. They both sing, and they're both great. Alright, well there it is. Just pearly things. No more? No more songs? That's it. I wish there was, I wish there was more. Such a short-lived career. Yeah. We were robbed. There's four of them. And we're robbed. They're all iconic. Just like uh, my band, The Jokes. We have four songs, then we disappeared. Wow. <laughs> you know? I miss Pearl's old stuff. <laughs> Before she sold out. Yeah. Yeah. The first couple albums were great, but she went mainstream. I followed her on tour. Yeah. 